Welcome back guys. In this video, we have a word problem. So we're told a parabolic bridge is 20 meters wide and 25 meters high at a point five meters in from the edge. How high is the bridge nine meters in from the edge? So with this type of question, first thing you wanna do is draw a diagram. And there's actually multiple diagrams you can make with this. I'm gonna show you the one that I like to make that I find easiest. So whenever I'm dealing with a parabolic bridge or any sort of parabola word problem, like a parabolic tunnel maybe, I always like to put one of the edges at the origin, right? So make it look something like this. So because we know that it's 20 meters wide, this point here is zero and zero. Well, what's this point gonna be here? Well, it's gonna be 20 and zero, right? 20 meters wide. So one of the x-intercepts is zero and one of the x-intercepts is 20. And then we're also told that a point um, five meters in from the edge, so you can go from this edge or from this edge. I usually like to go from this edge. So five meters in, so let's say that's like here the height of the bridge is what? It's 25, right? So this point on the parabola is five and 25. You know what, let me actually write it. Uh, you know what, I'm not even gonna write the point yet, uh, just to save some room. So five meters in from the edge, the height is 25. So this point basically has a coordinate five and 25. And what they're asking for is nine meters in from the edge. So let's say around here, what is the height going to be? So we're solving for that H value here. So what you want to do is you want to take these two intercepts and you want to take this known point, find an equation, and then you could just plug in nine for the X value in the equation to get the height where x represents the distance from this edge here. Okay, another way to draw this diagram, uh, I don't like to do it this way personally. I usually like to do it this way, but another way you can do it is you could draw it like this, where the middle, that max, is on the y axis. So because this has a distance of 20, it's 20 meters wide, and this is the midway point, then we know that this point here, this distance is gonna be 10. So this is gonna be negative 10 and zero, and this is gonna be 10 and zero, positive 10 and zero. And then we know five meters in from the edge, so negative 10 plus five, so basically at this point, negative five, the height, is going to be uh, 25. So this point here is gonna be negative five and 25. And then they're asking nine meters in from the edge, what is the height gonna be? So nine meters in from the edge, negative 10 plus nine, this would be at negative one. So they're asking for that height right there. So if you make an equation with these two intercepts and this point, solve for that a value and then you plug in negative one into that equation, you should get the same height that we're gonna get here. You could actually try it yourself. Another thing is that you don't have to necessarily uh, use uh, this edge. You come in from this edge. So if we use this edge here, five meters in from the edge, because it's symmetric, uh, 10 minus five would give us uh, five. So this would be like five and 25. And then you could plug in one, nine meters in from the edge to get that same height, right? So multiple ways to do this, to get that height. Again, personally, I like to have the edge at the origin if I can, but uh, sometimes teachers may expect you to do it this way. So going back to this here, um, notice that we can get 
an equation because we have the intercepts and we have a point, this point here, which is 5 and 25. So we'd have a x minus one of the intercepts, which is just 0. So x minus 0 is just x. And then x minus s, x minus 20, like that. And then we could solve for this a value by plugging in the point 5 and 25. So we could plug in 25 for y, and we could plug in 5 for x. So we'd have 25 equals a, um, this would be negative 15 times 5, which would give us negative 75. Divide both sides by negative 75, so the a would be uh, negative 25 over 75 which simplifies to negative 1 over 3. So this a value we would plug in here. <clears throat> so we'd have negative 1 over 3 x bracket x minus 20. So uh, you don't actually have to put this in brackets here. You could just put an x, make it look nicer. And uh, I put a y here. Technically, this should be an h, right? We're modeling the height. So we have an equation for this parabola now. And what do we want? We want the height 9 meters in from the edge, so we could just plug in 9 for x. So we'd have h equals negative 1 over 3 times 9 <clears throat> times 9 minus 20. So this would be negative 1 over 3 times 9 gives us negative 3. And then 9 minus 20 gives us negative 11. So the height is 33 meters. That's your final answer. So this height here is 33 meters, 9 meters in from the edge. And this is the same answer you should get if you did it the other way. If you take that other diagram and you want to put it into factored form, basically you'd have a uh, x minus 10, x plus 10, right? Those were the intercepts, plus and minus 10. And then you would plug in negative uh, 5 and 25. So 25 for y and then negative 5 for uh, x. And uh, solve for that a value and then plug in negative 1. You should get 33 meters, right? So multiple ways to do this. Again, when I get a question like this, I like to put the edge of tunnels or bridges on the origin if possible. So then I'm just dealing with a single x there because it's x minus zero, right? So find an equation and then plug in that x value of nine to get the height that you are looking for.